The nationwide search for a missing Colorado mom widening over the weekend with investigators turning their focus to Kelsey Barris' fiance, scouring his home and property. At this point, we are considering every possibility, and I'm not willing to jump to conclusions or label people involved in this highly complex investigation. Let's bring in Steve Rogers, a retired lieutenant detective. He joins us now. Steve, people are baffled by this case, the link that which it took her family to even report that she was missing to authorities, to the fiance not talking initially. What do we know today? Well, that's the mystery. Why did it take 10 days to report her missing? I could tell you the police have done a textbook investigation. Very good. They started at Ground Zero. Ground Zero is starting uh, at home uh, with the closest people, relatives that are next to you. And the fiancé obviously is a person of interest because he was the last one who I understand had contact with her. But she walked into a grocery store on Thanksgiving Day. There's surveillance footage of her walking in, pushing the cart. There's no surveillance footage of her leaving. How do we know? Well, well, exactly right. And that's what the police are, are going to analyze. Look, they're going to do a con an entire forensic analysis of her computers, her cell phones, uh, text messages of that video you just talked about. Somewhere, somehow, there's a piece of evidence that the police, I believe, have. And they're certainly not going to talk about that because they don't want to compromise their investigation. But the fact of the matter is, and the question that I know the police are trying to answer is, why did it take 10 days? from November uh, 22nd, Thanksgiving, to December 5th. Why did it take that period of time for somebody to report her missing? Mm. What's the answer on that? We'll find out soon. They always get caught. They always get the, caught. So there was a ping that was 600 miles away, right? Yes. I mean, she was in Colorado, and there was a ping that was picked up in southeastern Idaho. And in your experience, how often is that somebody could just run away? As well, opposed to being abducted. Well, Bill, not only that, the mystery is, uh, it, which adds to it, she has a child. You know, mothers don't walk away from their kids. Mothers don't disappear voluntarily away from their children. And as far as that ping's concerned, the ping may have been 600 miles away. Doesn't mean she was 600 miles away. But the, the fiance's not considered a person, a suspicious person in this case, correct? I mean, they're not looking him at, but they dug up his backyard over the weekend. Yeah, the, the police use the term uh, person of interest uh, because they don't want to lead anyone to believe that they've concluded that this person uh, is actually a suspect okay. involved in something that uh, is just simply not proper. Now, how are they doing so far, do you think? Not I think they're doing good. They're doing good. They, they did dig up the property. They're interviewing close relatives and friends. So the police are on track. They're doing a good job with this, but they're being careful not to release too much information so that the uh, uh, case is not compromised. We found that in the Iowa case as well, several months back. They, they were holding back a lot of information. And I think publicly a lot of people thought, come on, give us a little more that we can go on here. Um, ultimately, they found the killer. Yes, and keep in mind that I am sure that as they're speaking to people, somebody knew something. This woman said something to somebody. Maybe she had a relationship problem with the fiance. Maybe there was a problem with the family. Maybe there were financial pressures. Somebody That's already known, right? Said, that they had oh, a bit yes, of a contentious they, 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 relationship. They do. But somebody knows something, and I'm sure the police are onto that person. Okay. That's why, Bill, they don't want to say too much. You're okay not giving up too much information. Oh, I, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Steve Rogers, thank you very much. You're welcome. Very welcome. James Comey's back on the.